guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back in one of my favorite parking lot locations because guess what? We have that one compact performance car that has gone through a redesign in a big way. This is it. This is a 2022 Honda Civic Si. But before we get into this sport injected version of the Honda Civic, let's talk about what's going on here. Honda. We know about them. They've been doing the business for decades. And a lot of people don't understand they are truly about performance. It dates back. Think about the 1960s when Honda first started their Formula One Grand Prix racing. We just got Max Verstappen, who won the 2021 FIA Formula One World Championship in that Honda-powered Formula One car. And of course, that technology is not just about the racetrack, it's about trickling it into our street cars that we drive and enjoy on a regular basis. Now, the Civic Si first appeared all the way back in 1986. Think about that, that was a long time ago. A lot has changed in the auto industry, but Honda has stuck to their guns because they're all about still that pure driving engagement and of course having that six speed manual transmission, the only available transmission. Now, if you think that Honda created this segment known as the compact performance car, you are incorrect. There actually was a vehicle and a brand that beat them to the punch. That brand's gonna be Volkswagen with the GTI. First came to our shores here in the United States in the early 1980s as well, it was 1983 that GTI was the start of something special because it took the Golf, gave it more performance, and created the whole hot hatch era. Now with the Civic Si, you're gonna be able to get it just one way and one way only. That is in a four-door sedan. Of course, the GTI is also totally redesigned. It's kind of crazy that these two competitors both redesigned for 2022. What I wanna find out is which one is the right compact performance car to buy should you go with this blazing orange beautiful pearlescent color Civic Si or should you go with a Golf GTI let's go ahead let's dive in our 2022 Civic Si and find out right off the bat like I said sedan is the way you're going to have to go they eliminated the coupe and there is no hatchback if you want a hatchback you're going to have to go with the mighty Type R now one thing you'll notice from this side angle view is that just like we pointed out before the Civic has grown a little bit in size wheelbase has gotten a little bit longer but you know what it's all for good measure because this is going to be a better driving better riding Honda Civic Si at the front of the business you are going to get standard LED lighting on your Civic Si we got our LED turn signals and daytime running lamps so very similar to what you would get on a GTI I do like the way they designed the housing. The one zonk, especially because here in the United States, we don't get it, but up in Canada, our northern neighbors, they get it with their standard Civic Si, no fog lamps. All you're gonna get is this, block, this blocked off gloss black plate. So we are gonna zonk that we don't get fog lamps. <clears throat> if you go with the GTI, they have that very unique splattering of LED fog lamps that looks pretty wild and very unique. So one thing to take into consideration, no fog lamps on the US version of the Civic Si. I do like the flat black. We got that blazing orange color unique to the Si. You can't get any other Civic in this color. And as we come across the front grille, like I pointed out before, it's all about cleanliness, clean lines. They really kind of went back to their roots. I know a lot of people felt like they were going away from their roots, but if you look at the early Civic SIs, it was clean styling. I like the way they have the unique grill, flat black, fully functional with your SI badge. Remember, it doesn't stand for smart and intelligent, it stands for sport injected. And you're definitely gonna get some sport performance underneath that hood. We had the larger grill opening. This portion, I do have to admit, reminds me of a Toyota Corolla. But imitation is the greatest form of flattery. And like I said, I think when you compare it to the 10th generation, because remember, this is the 11th generation of the Civic Si, I am liking this direction a lot more because they got rid of those crazy waffle griddle iron looking things, and I think that was a smart move. Now, when we get up onto the hood, 
first time ever, aluminum hood. So that's gonna help cut down on some weight, especially lowering that center of gravity. I love the way they push the eight pillars further back to give us a longer nose to really allow that nice flow from front to back. And if you like proportions, I think the proportions on the Civic Si work much better than on the Golf GTI. Now, as we come around the bend, what do we work with? Wheel and tire setup. So you're gonna get these gorgeous, I, I'm actually really digging these satin black wheels. Nice Y-spoke design. Behind those wheels, you're gonna get increased rotor diameter. So you're looking around 14 inches in rotor diameter, fully ventilated. They beef up the brakes, the suspension, all four corners. One thing that they did take away, which is a bit of a bummer, is the adaptive suspension. So there's no different modes on the 10 generation, you had the two different modes, normal and sport with your suspension. That has been eliminated. And if you look at the GTI, you still can get those adaptive dampers all four corners. So that is one zonk when you're comparing it to the GTI. But just like the GTI, front wheel drive, obviously we got these Goodyear Eagle tires gonna help give us the grip. And I'm really liking the clean setup with the wheels and the way everything just flows nicely around the fender opening. Now, as we come down the side, what do we got? We got gloss black on the mirror caps, no turn singles or anything. Everything is just super clean on the mirror caps. You do get a standard size sunroof. And I think that's one of the nice things I like about the Civic Si is that if you're gonna option it, there's only one option, summer tires, and that's it. Whereas with the GTI, obviously you got the Autobahn trim, you got the SE trim, you got the S trim, you got all these different trims. They make it real simple. Pick your color and pick your Civic Si and whether you want summer tires or all weather, all season tires. But you have your standard size sunroof. I like the flat black, nothing gloss on the side besides the mirror caps. They did a great job working that side sill down, just kind of dropping it down and then working our way towards the rear. I just want to kind of showcase one more time with the rear tire setup, how you can see the design really just is super clean flowing. It's an 18 inch wheel and you're looking at two oh fives, all four corners really give us that nice kind of balance and, and stick that we want to have. And then coming around the bend, what do we got? We have a standard trunk lid spoiler. This is SI specific. It is gloss black, but the good news is it's going to be fine over time. And if you look at how nicely it kicks up, it's aggressive without being too over the top. We got our SI badge on the corner, our Civic badge. We got our LED lighting and then dropping it all the way down. You get one exhaust outlet. It's an oval shape slash cut, nothing else. No diffuser area or anything like that to kind of balance the front to the rear. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk performance numbers in our Civic SI. All right, guys, we got that, that aluminum hood. First time aluminum hood on a Civic SI on this 11th generation. Remember, all four corners, we got those 18 inch wheels that are new with 225s wrapped around them at each end. And just like before, this is front wheel drive only now. Remember, we got a new chassis, so they did add rigidity. They did rework the suspension, but what are we talking about? Underneath the hood is that 1.5 liter inline four turbocharged engine. Now, the nice thing is, if you're the type of person like me that wants to see all the inner bits, you could clearly see them, including the turbocharger, located right underneath that heat shielding there. But what are we talking about? You're probably saying, Joe, what are we talking about horsepower-wise? So out of that 1.5 liter turbocharged engine, we're looking at actually less horsepower than last year. You're looking at 200 horsepower, 192 pound-feet of torque. Now, before I go any further, there are people who supposedly have dynoed a Civic Si and have seen 222 horsepower. So could it be Honda just unrating, uh, you know, underrating this engine? Remember, the Golf GTI has more horsepower, clearly more horsepower for 2022, but one transmission only, six-speed manual. If you could do the dance and shift through those gears, you're looking at zero to 60 in around 6.7 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna go by at 15 seconds flat at around 96 miles an hour. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what about MPGs? This is where you're really gonna be a winner in the Civic Si. You could have your performance, but you could also have some good fuel economy. 27 in the city, 
37 on the highway gives us a combined 31 miles per gallon. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what about the weight? You're looking at 2,937 pounds in this Civic Si 11 generation. And what are some of the changes? They actually lightened this, the flywheel. They, so they lowered the mass of the flywheel by 30%. This does have the automatic rev match downshift feature from the Civic Type R. We got a high flow turbocharger, fuel pump, camshaft, and increased exhaust flow out the exhaust to help us get that awesome setup. They even reworked the mufflers to give us a nice coil uh, a craftsmanship to it to allow that exhaust gas to exit faster to give us better throttle response and more linear torque delivery because that's the big thing. It's not just about horsepower numbers. They actually shifted the torque to start at around 1800 RPM rather than waiting for 4000 RPM. But while we go ahead, let's fire up this Civic Si and hear what it sounds like. guys here we are sitting in this 2022 honda civic si i know still some of you like i said are grumbling you're you're upset you're frustrated about the canadian version getting a lot more features standard at the same basic price but what are we looking at here you know when you're comparing it to the gti lots of different ways you could go but i know you're saying well joe how much is this one because I think I like the Civic Si better than the Golf GTI, especially what I'm about to see in the interior. How much is this one? So MSRP is right around $28,000. Let's see what you get for the money. To the door panels, clean style, and that's all you need. Soft touch material. There's some gloss black, but it's well out of the way. You're not going to put your fingerprints on it. I like the Honda styled uh, aluminum looking door handle there to open up your door. And then what's great is, is around the switch gear, that material is fingerprint resistant. It's been tested in five different labs, including a NASA space, space mission. Plus, I like the addition of that reddish trim that they did, that nice pinstripe line. It gives it almost like an anodized aluminum look. You do have some red cloth on the back portion of the door panel, and that comes specific only in the SI. I am gonna zonk the cloth, the cloth armrest. Not my favorite, especially if you have dry elbows, you're gonna get a bunch of dead dry skin there and it's gonna look gross with the red pinstriping. Door pocket though, good size. You could easily put some uh, cleaning wipes to get all that dead skin off, maybe a bottle of lotion for your dry elbows instead of putting a drink in there so that you could keep your elbows nice and moisturized. Now going from the door panel to the dash, they did a great job, and I definitely think it's better than the GTI. It really elevated the feel, fit, and finish in this Civic Si. Soft touch material, we have the Bose sound system for the first time ever since 1986. First time ever having Bose sound system. I love the wire mesh, the way it, it hides all the AC vents. The gloss black matches what's on the door panel. And then guess what? We have a nine inch infotainment system. Now, they put a nice anti-glare finish on it, so it's not going to wash out in the sun. Very, very clean, clear, concise. I think one of my favorite things is that how you can move around the icons. You could create smart shortcuts if you want. Whatever you want to do, this Civic Si has the capability. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. I think the best feature, though, is that you do have an actual volume knob to fine-tune the Bose sound system to really get the best in the business when it comes to the sounds. Put it in the reverse. We're taking up almost all nine inches. Plus, you could easily adjust where that camera is showing. I do like the way they have that set up, and the resolution looks great. And then we're right back home. You have your bright red illuminated start-stop button. We do have 
great controls on the AC, but it's not dual climate. Let me know how you feel about that. No dual climate on the Civic Si. Temperature mode, everything, blower fan, real easy to do, and I like that click. It almost sounds like a, an old safe from 1898, that quality that you know is just gonna last forever. Two USB A's, we got a 12 volt, and then you could easily put your four to five Twinkies here. I would try to get five. The reason why is when you're at the autocross events and you're beating those pesky GTIs, you're gonna wanna give those Twinkies away to the GTI owners as a consolation gift. Let them uh, you know, have some nice golden brown delicious treat while they're all sad and they're crying. There's that, look at this, no fingerprints. No matter how hard I push, no matter how, I could, I could play a song on it and you can't even tell. So I'm really happy the way that Honda really created something new and fresh with this uh, no fingerprint material, and it looks good. We got a new shifter, nice aluminum finish with the leather. You got that baseball style stitching like Babe Ruth actually stitched it himself. And what they did was they revised the actual gearbox itself to give us nicer throws, crisper engagement, and you have that automatic rev match downshift feature, which you can turn off. And I think that's gonna be probably the biggest zonk. If I go back to the infotainment system, side of things here and we go into say for example vehicle settings you got to go through about 50 different settings to get to where that automatic rev match downshifter shift feature is to turn it on and off i wish they just had a single button that was exterior so i am going to zonk that but i do like the way they have the automatic rev match downshift feature you have your different drive modes and that's another nice feature where you're going to get a real nice clean readout on the instrumentation where we have sport. Look at that, it looks like you have your individual. So you could actually customize each of the setups and then you're gonna be able to have sport. Looks like something right out of a video game. And then you have normal, but who the hell wants to be normal? We're gonna keep it in sport, but I even like how an individual, it shows the Civic Si. Look at that, you can see the intercooler. There's the turbocharger. Really, really cool the way they have those graphics there. Even the exhaust, there's the coil system on how they reroute the exhaust there. Really kind of cool, all those little details. You have two cup holders, and what's nice is I'm actually gonna show that it does hold a bottle, and I'm gonna show how it works. So you take your bottle out, have a little bit of a sip, and then it goes right back in. That's how it should be. Easy peasy, doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. I think one of the nice things that I like is how you open this up and then you could easily put, I would say, stack up four Enemans chocolate donuts in there. You know those chocolate fudge donuts? Just stack them up in there. It's all plastic so you'll be able to clean the fudge out or if you have like a little dog, you can have them lick it out. Uh, but don't let them lick out the chocolate because that's not good for dogs. Seats, this is good for your body. SI embroidery, the red, they reworked the bolstering, and it's not too crazy. It's like you could live with this bolstering, but you could go have fun in the twisty bits. It is manual adjustment for the passenger, manual adjustment for the driver, but you do get that standard size sunroof, which is great. Coming over here though, I got this beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel I want to introduce you to in the Civic SI. All right guys, business time, and this is where really Honda takes their experience from the racetrack and brings it to the interior because they do a great job with how you're connected to the vehicles, specifically the Civic Si. In our pedal box, what do we have? Some great looking pedals, nice aluminum clutch, brake and throttle. My only zonk is I wish they would have gave us a nice aluminum dead pedal, but it is a good size. And remember, if you're wondering, well, what's the point of a dead pedal? It's not just a place to rest your foot, it's also a place to brace yourself as you're going through the twisty bits, never, never, never rest your foot on the clutch pedal because 99.9999999% of the time, you're putting pressure on it and that's gonna speed up the wear of your clutch and other parts, so do not do that. You do have manual seat controls. I wish they would have gave us electric assist, at least on the driver's side. And that's where the GTI is gonna come out a little bit on top is some of the small little minute things but definitely the interface with the infotainment system is so much easier on the Civic Si than the GTI. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom in here, even with the sunroof, which is great. And then steering wheel. This is where Honda just does the magic time and time again. Love the leather, perfect thickness, that great stitching by Babe Ruth himself all the way around. 
with a little bit of aluminum shiny finish, a little bit of gloss black. It is manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then what do we have? We have a digital display with an analog speedometer. This is another area where I wish they would have just went full digital or full analog, one or the other. But if you look, we have a boost gauge, which is really nice. And then you could actually go through different modes here. So I go back to home and now I could scroll and you could bring up, like for example, throttle and brake. I hit the brake, I hit the throttle. I hit the brake, I hit the throttle. Just cool to have that kind of technology there to really personalize the driving experience. And you're gonna get all the Honda safety features, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist, all those goodies. But why don't we go ahead, we got four doors, which means we could actually share the fun with others, just like on the GTI, but let's see how the experience is in the Civic Si in the backseat. All right guys, backseat time, and I'm telling you, I know a lot of people are like, hey, that 11th generation Civic looks like an Accord. Listen, first of all, I don't really think it looks like an Accord when you park them next to one another. Second of all, it is nice being on this new platform because you got a little bit more room for the backseat passengers, share the love with everybody, and this is what I think, the backseat is actually more comfortable in the Civic Si than in the GTI. I might be wrong, you might be, feel different, but I think I'm really enjoying the back seat. Now, back to the seats, you do have the cloth all over the place. You only get one pocket. So there's one pocket, and what do we have in here? Ooh, look at this. We have the Civic Si official drive route book. We flip this around, I can't show you this. This is actually top secret stuff from Honda. I'll give you one more peep, there it is. You put it back so you can keep some manuals, keep some books. Uh, you know, maybe if you want to put your kids to sleep, uh, have them read the owner's manual to the Honda Civic Si. That'll put them right to sleep probably. But you do get some red stitching. It's all cloth, but it all, you know, matches. I guess my only one thing is I wish they would have put some red back here. How do you feel about that? Let me know in the comment section. Did they run out of red material like they did on the front seats? Have it for the back. But what's great is you do have your armrest, super charm and soft. The bad news is, and the big zonk, no connectivity. So if your phone dies back here, you better pray that there is something good to read in this back pocket because you have no way to charge your phone, no connectivity, nothing. That's what you got. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into the trunk and see how it stacks up to the mighty hatchback GTI. All right guys, time to get into the trunk. Now remember, of course with the GTI, you are gonna get a little bit more versatility from having more cargo room, but you're gonna be surprised in this 11th generation of the Civic. We lift up the trunk, you're gonna get 14 cubic feet of space. The seats do the 60-40 tango split where you can lie them down, you could go do your autocross event, bring the cooler, bring an, ace, an air compressor, bring some goodies with you to run your, your uh, autocross event, and then guess what? You got enough room for a couple trophies, put everything back and drive it on home. I do like the way they have those wonderful levers that you just pull to fold the seats down. And underneath the cargo floor, there is no spare. So one thing to remember, you do not get a spare on the Civic Si. I guess it's all about saving that weight, hashtag race car. But you know what? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take it on our Radies Rides back roads to find out what the on throttle is in the Civic Si. All right, guys, we're in the 2022 Honda Civic Si. My neck of the woods, the Radies Rise twisty bits, as much as a twisty bit as we could have in Florida, but I have it in sport mode, and we're definitely gonna go rowing through the six-speed manual transmission. If you're ready, I'm ready. I can't wait to see the differences and really be able to enjoy each and every bend of this road. Remember, top speed around 137 miles an hour. We got 235s on those 18 inch wheels, all four corners. If you're ready, I'm ready. Here we go. I'm throwing you! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Nice. Always love the balance in these Civic SIs. Watch this left-right transition. On the brakes, downshift. <laughs> Woo! Hit the rev limiter there.
the grip is just out of this world. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm telling you, the steering is so direct, so connected, so much more so than the Volkswagen GTI. And even though the GTI has almost 50 more horsepower, faster zero to 60 than this car, it's more fun to drive this car. Really handles so well. All the work that they did with the chassis and the rigidity really just hunkers you down and allows you to attack each bend with confidence because the feedback that you get is just mind blowing. Now I wasn't paying attention and I did hit the rev limiter once, but still a lot of flexibility and that torque is coming in so much lower than ever before. Remember it starts to kick on at 1800 RPM and driving it, I was pulling it all the way through. That's why I wound up hitting the rev limiter because she was still pulling higher in the revs as well. But uh, the work they did with the manual transmission, the retuning of the ECU, the lighter flywheel, it's just so much fun to drive. All right, if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready, yeah! <laughs> Smoke him if you got him. Nice. Touch that rev limiter a little bit. Balance is, look at this. Look at this. Heel toe downshift, nice. It's so much fun to wring the neck of a lower horsepower car. You know, you get in my Camaro ZL1 1LE, you're not even scratching the surface. But on this thing, you can wring its neck, you can drive it every day, it feels oh so good. And that is what really just boosts the whole fun factor with these cars. And until you drive one and do it the right way, you won't understand what I'm talking about. But give it a chance and it's going to surprise you. And I know, yes, they raised the price, but you're still getting a lot of car for the money. All right, guys, one more time for you. Definitely one more time for me. I throttle, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Here we go! The brakes. Pedal feels so freaking good. Carrying that speed, carry the momentum. Look at this. Flat out. All right, guys, it may not have been a sunny day here in Florida, but you know what? It's been an on throttle kind of day. I definitely got to thank everybody over at Honda for allowing us access here at Radies Rides to this press fleet vehicle. Was nice to have it on our own turf to really roll through those gears. I don't know. Let me know how you feel about the Civic Si compared to the GTI. I, I think I have my favorite, but I'm very curious to know which way you would go. Put it in the comment section. Honda is reading through those comments, I promise you that. But until we meet again, hopefully in a little bit sunnier conditions, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, because I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just like this for you, click that link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rides merch. We got to give it up to the queen of the camera. She's got her gloves on, she's got her earmuffs on, it's a little chilly. But you know what? She does the business no matter what. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.